welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I effectively use the Android Room Persistence Library with Kotlin? Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer has created an app database class in Kotlin, but when they run their app, it crashes immediately. The crash log indicates that the implementation for app database is missing. This is a frustrating issue that can happen when working with Room. After some investigation, our viewer discovered that the auto-generated class app database impl wasn't created. They compared their setup with a Java app from a tutorial and found that it worked there. The viewer is using Kotlin version 11.2-3 and Room version 1.0.0 alpha 1. Fortunately, there's a solution. By switching from annotation processor to capped, our viewer was able to resolve the issue. This is a common step that many Kotlin developers need to take when using Room. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's address the issue you're facing with the Room Persistence Library in your Kotlin app. The error message indicates that the implementation class app database or impl was not generated. This typically happens when the annotation processing is not set up correctly. In Kotlin, we use capped instead of the traditional annotation processor. To implement this, open your build.gradle file and locate the dependencies section. Change the line that includes room to use capped. After making this change, sync your project with Gradle files. This should trigger the generation of the app database impl class. Finally, run your app again. If everything is set up correctly, the crash should be resolved and your app should work as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're looking to use Kotlin with the Room Persistence Library and Data Binding, check out this sample project. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user almost gave up on their project, but found success by following advice from Darman007. They emphasize the importance of cleaning the project after adding cap to Gradle. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To integrate Kotlin with the Android Room Persistence Library, it's important to apply the Kotlin CAPT plugin. This is a key step in the setup process. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. 
Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.